It's time now for your pinpoint weather and traffic together. Here's meteorologist Michelle Muscatello. We're not done with the snow yet by any means. No, unfortunately, uh, we're fortunately, depending on how you look at it. We're only in uh, mid-December now, and we've got more on the way for tomorrow. As we take a look at live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar this morning, we've got a couple of flurries that had moved through earlier this morning. Now ahead of a cold front, that front has turned our winds to the west northwest. It's going to bring in some Arctic air. We're going to see very chilly for the daytime today and some of the coldest air of the season for overnight tonight. Here's what we're tracking. It's an icy start this morning uh, with the leftovers from the weekend snow, rain and sleet. A lot of ice on the sidewalks. Any untreated surfaces will be very slippery. More snow on the way and then warmer late week, maybe even warm enough that by Friday we could be tracking some rain around here. Temperatures right now have been dropping. It's very cold to start. Smithfield's at 23, 26 in Providence, 27 in Newport, but you add in the winds, what it feels like outside, more likely the teens. 12, Smithfield, 15, the wind chill in Providence, 19, New Bedford, and single digit wind, wind chills up into Worcester. Now we are looking at the cold and gusty conditions continuing through the daytime today, but dry. 24 at 9 a.m. Temperatures at about the afternoon, about 28 degrees, very cold, very brisk, so not much of a change at all from where we are uh, for this morning's temperatures. This afternoon holding fairly steady and then overnight tonight down to 13 degrees, so just a frigid night. I think we'll start off clear, clear through maybe 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, then we'll start to see some high clouds rolling in and those high clouds will tend to thicken and lower fairly quickly on Tuesday morning. So here's the radar over the last nine hours. A couple of flurries, snow showers that moved through here in the pre-dawn hours with that cold front. Our system for tomorrow is sitting up here to our north. Uh, that low will dive across the Great Lakes and then if we can get that to pop up and then uh, make its way off the coastline as we head into the daytime tomorrow. It's a small system. It's a fast moving one. These ones can sometimes be notoriously hard to predict in terms of their exact track and that will determine how much snowfall we see, whether we get any mixing at the coastline. But I like the way the future cast brings things in here for the timing of this. This is today starting at nine o'clock sunshine, dry skies, still keeping the sunny skies into the afternoon. Evening starts off clear Again, temperatures tumble. Notice the clouds rolling in, but dry for the morning commute tomorrow. Here comes that snow. This is late morning, early afternoon. And it's snowing in a decent clip as you're trying to get the kids off the bus in the afternoon. Getting home from work could be difficult tomorrow evening. May see a little bit of mixing at the coastline where, uh, depending on the track of the storm, and again, fast mover. So by midnight, this is already over with. The skies are clearing, and we're back to sunshine on Wednesday. So here's a timeline uh, in terms of impacts. The morning commute looking dry, just increasing clouds. Lunchtime, because of the frigid start in the morning, this is going to stick to the roadways. Light to moderate snow falling at lunch. Some slick roads develop and by the evening commute, some heavier snow, maybe some mixing at the coastline. I think we will have some impacts for the evening commute. Two to four inches of snow for most of us. Could see some isolated five inch totals maybe up here in northeastern Massachusetts. And I have slightly less along the coastline. And it's all dependent on whether we see any mixing and how far north that rain snow line would travel up through our area. So it's definitely check back in for updates. Here's that seven day future cast from the upper 20s today to 27 for tomorrow. Uh, not bad to get some 30s and eventually 40s in here. Some rain showers with a front that will hang around for a few days. Friday, Saturday, we've got a couple of lighter rain showers into Saturday morning. Maybe a little lull Saturday afternoon and then possibly, depending on how things set up by next Sunday, we could be looking at some rain and snow showers.